I would just draw and then post it online and then somebody would just give me money. I didn't know I had to market myself. I didn't know I had to do like YouTube videos. I didn't know I had to uh, network with other artists and whatnot. I thought all you had to do was just post your art online and then people would just sort of notice it and start liking it. And then somehow that would just translate into money. But it's a whole process, man. It's a, it's a whole thing. And I had to really learn how to actually um, go from making zero money to making some money. And right now, the only way I can make money is through my skills, which is uh, my main skill right now is just coloring comics. I, I'm good at coloring comics. I've been coloring uh, digitally since, since I guess, Click Studio was called Manga Studio. What's good, everybody? This is Mr. Composition, the MC that writes fiction. Back at it with another video. That first little clip was from Comic Ken. And I wanted to do this video to give independent comic slash manga slash author creators three opportunities that they may be missing out when it comes to making money from your work. Now, that first part I wanted to play because there's a lot of people, even myself at one point in time, that I run into or that I see and they have a project out. And make sure to go check out Comic Kin's um, Air Rider comic that's out, manga that's out. I think he said he has two chapters. Uh, I got the skim through it, and it does look super, super dope. So shout out to him. Um, but so in his case, and this was seven months ago, maybe things have changed. But in his case, he was saying that the only way at this point for him to make money is off of his skills and that of which is coloring. Now... He has two chapters out. And so it made me think because there's lots of creators who maybe don't realize these three opportunities that are available to them. And hey, you look on the screen. Yeah, you are seeing a, a book that I'm working on right now. Um, but one of the opportunities that is available for creators especially i want to gear this specifically to american comic book creators or or people who want to create a manga because it's interesting especially with the rise of solo leveling and people now being introduced to their version of mangas which is i think it's called a manhwa you know and it made me think i was just all like are american comic book creators are we not realizing that if the style of comic book creations that we're wanting to create is that of a manga but we're we're thinking we have to go to japan or different things like that i think being able to establish america's version i think it's a manga or something like that let me know in the comments if you know for sure i think that would definitely be the way to go but i say that to say this first opportunity that I think a lot of comic book creators are missing out on. Events, mainly zine fest. Now, if you don't know what a zine fest is, it's basically self-published small comics, books, festival. It's like, imagine like a book fair, but 
hyper focused on creating these DIY books. Some people don't even have like physical books. It's more so these folded from paper and they make the books as far as from that. But a good chunk of people, you know, have physical books that they self publish and different things like that. Now, the reason why I say specifically Zine Fest is for the most part, they have these around the world. So essentially, you can do your own book tour on just Zine Fest, you know? And for example, I've done several Zine Fest throughout the years for both of my books, but mainly my regular book. Uh, ideas of illusion which i released that in 2017 it is currently 2024 and i still go to these zine fests in different places like i just released the book because essentially the majority of the world has no idea who i am therefore it is technically new to them and i think that a lot of comic book creators um we get in our head and we don't realize what is available to us you know and for me i think what helped me kind of realize a lot of these different things is is being a rapper you know and see it like oh they have their cds and everything like that and and even though we're in this digital world people are at jobs that they hate you know like for long periods of time just to pay their bills when they may be able to do it part-time and supplement the other income by doing these events now are there things involved as far as cost yes now you want to start in your city you could just literally hashtag your city zine fest see if there is one already that's there is it coming up did it pass you know and then start maneuvering around to nearby cities that way the cost as far as to you know take your stuff is limited now this place for most part most of the zine fest that i've been to they do a great job of promotion you know on on average average i sell 10 books <laughs> and i in my my novel ideas of illusion i sell for 20 dollars, and i have kept it at that rate for the last several years since it was released it has stayed at 20 dollars people buy it i had released in 2020 a graphic novel called the most random manga ever now moving forward i won't be calling my stuff mangas out of respect for japan i, I don't live in japan it isn't distributed in japan so i don't want to be disrespectful in that sense which is why i brought up as far as us as americans being able to establish our version of that <laughs> you know because it's just all like but i say all that to say that when i released it i said it it was it's set up volume one hey you know you can you can get a link in the description or you can read a few chapters on the website but i had set it up as a you know it reads just like a manga and then i have a, in the front of the book because you you know you read it backwards in the front of the book, I have a regular comic issue, one of a, another comic that I created, all digital. You know, me, I'm a, I'm a, I am a rapper and my art and my strong point is, is writing, you know, where I use technology and different things like that is when it comes to art and different things like that. So a lot of the comic is, you know, me cropping putting together and and creating these sceneries creating these things is it perfect no but it is 11 
chapters in it all in color and then uh, one issue of another one so essentially it's 12 issues I sell that for $30 and this last zine fest that I went to a couple of months ago sold several copies <laughs> you know and so that is the one opportunity I think a lot of comic book creators are missing out because you can you want to do the digital stuff but don't forget that there is a physical world and people there's events and things that are specifically for you one of the things that comic ken was saying was you know talking about where your audience is and different things like that these zine fests your audience is there for sure <laughs> you know and there has not been a zine fest that i've went to that i didn't sell you know more than 10 books <laughs> you know at the very least you know and so that's number one the second opportunity that I think that a lot of comic book creators are missing out on and not taking advantage of is starting the comic book as a book, as a light novel. Because one thing that I realized when looking at movies, when looking at shows, when looking at all these different things, I'm just all like, it was adapted from a book. And the thing is that the reason why I say that this is an opportunity, because even if you're a, a quote unquote bad artist and your whole reasoning for not wanting to put something out is because of you know, what people think of the art, people generally I believe, care more about the story. And when you have the story, you can then adapt that to everything else that you need, but you at least have the story. Now, a lot of people, when it comes to us as creators, sometimes we, it's hard for us to separate business and art, you know, business and creation. So I need you as a creator, if you're listening to this, to, for a second, take away the creative hat because you're here because you do want to make a living. You do want to be able to supplement your income with your creativeness. And the thing is that a lot of time you have the creative, but you're having trouble making the money off of it. And like I said before, we could be so in the digital, which is important. It is 100% important. But as someone who is definitely still building up my social, as far as internet stuff, that's not to say that I haven't had internet sales. And I have, and it's fascinating to me because these are digital products uh, that you have unlimited <laughs> inventory for. But the book allows for you to, for one, have your story out, the story in general, and then you can take your time to adapt chapter by chapter into the comic book, into the graphic novel, you know, and from there, let's just say the art isn't fantastical. If the story's good, you will be able to get that help. The The one example, ironically, this is in the title, uh, but the one example that comes to mind is the creator of One Punch Man. It started off as a web comic that then got adapted into a manga that then got adapted into an anime. And all three are currently going on. The web the web um, comic he did straight from you know his website and it wasn't the best art but the story the story 
Now, again, he maybe didn't start it off in a book format, but we have places like webnovel.com, which allows for you, it has a built-in audience and allows for you to literally publish by chapter, you know, your stories. And sometimes I'll go on there, I'll look at the trending or hot or different things like that and just see what people are reading because there's this misconception that people aren't you know reading in mass and it's still one of the biggest form of media consumption is through reading you know so that's number two so number one events specifically zine fest because again you are able to literally go around the world, set up a tour and, you know, submit to these zine fest, get accepted. And you have built in audience to be able to push your comic. The second thing is starting the comic off as a story, because if you at least have that, you can adapt everything else later and you can push the story or you can have you know you can be able to build help but you can still build an audience as far as that you know so we got events we got making the comic starting it off as a story first now number three all right number three number three it's going I, it was a toss-up and you know if you want more videos on this i'll definitely do more videos i like breaking this stuff down and, and talking about this stuff but the third thing is embrace a i now before you're just all like what <laughs> remember AI is a tool. The one thing across the board of all creators that I see constantly is burnout. Not just burnout, there's an overload of things that you're having to do to execute. So, whether you're using AI to storyboard, whether you're using AI to get basic rough sketches of different things, whether it be you just explore AI, <laughs> you know, uh, Comic Ken was talking about how uh, later on in the, the video from the clip from the beginning, he was saying how he knew someone who, you know, was just two years working with themselves to create their own animation you know this is the time that we are in you know is it perfect no but here's one thing that i challenge a lot of y'all because a lot of y'all are actually art like artists you can draw and you can draw digitally guess what you're able to put this stuff in because this is ai now did it did it start off as far as like this no for example if you see over on this end you'll see a lot of these panels are you know double tripled up sometimes i remove some this is nowhere near perfect but what this is allowing me to do is the storyboard from there you you creators that can draw guess what you can go in here and be able to change whatever, you know, add the eyes correctly, make this correctly, you know, draw the hands correctly. But for the most part, it's something there to work with, to storyboard, to get the idea out. Because a lot of things, I think what we don't realize is that it can be changed later. <laughs> It could be redone. How how often are we seeing remakes? How often are we getting reprints? How often are we getting these things that are remastered? You know, 
it everything the core of all of this is going to be story all three things the events the zine fest if you already whether digital or you may have a physical you are able to go to these zine fest or book fairs or events in general for a few hours with the possibility of leaving with a couple of hundred dollars per event you know is that going to be the case all the time no but i could definitely say for the seven out of ten and at least you're not and that's just getting up there with a couple of hundred per night it's not like you're usually leaving with nothing you know so you have the events you have if you have a comic or a manga or graphic novel or maybe you're in the process of it, start off by making it a book first, the novella. You can release it in chapters, just like the manga. You know, if you're looking for consistent content, a lot of times you don't think that we can do that. And you can, <laughs> because if you then have the book, that's another physical digital product and then boop, you get to take that to the zine fest, to the events and different things like that. That's number two. Three, embrace AI. The reason being is because we, it's like a, it's like a overload, <laughs> you know, and it's just all like you only have but so much energy and attention. And if you're able to alleviate something from your process, to be able to get your idea to completion, you'll be at a better spot. So each one of those things will allow for you to generate income. The main thing, especially when it comes to creating content that I've seen and what I've heard over and over is, are you bringing value? Is what you are presenting on social media, is it entertaining? Or is it inspirational? Or is it informative? Understanding your content as far as you want people to buy into your stuff, different things like that. They're buying into the brand, what brand you build up. That doesn't mean you can't make money until then. You probably don't know who I am. But anytime that I go out to do events or different things like that, I make money off of my books. I'm not the traditional illustrator or drawer or anything like that. But I have comic books out that I sell because my strong point is the story. And I understand that it can be adapted later on by a better artist by and I can re put it out, you know, and yes that you can do that <laughs> you know but sometimes we don't know until we're told so if you found this video helpful and long ass rant <laughs> let me know in the comments and what out of one two and three of these different things that i presented to you uh resonated the most with you and uh make sure to check out the description for my latest album tame chaos as well as my book and my comics all that and more in the description it's mr composition mc that writes fiction back at it with another video like subscribe on the road to 5k peace